Hello everybody and welcome back to another video by Fanland Tutorials. Now today's video is of course a part of a series of videos that we have been talking about for the past few weeks. So if you remember, last week we talked about the existence of additive identity and the existence of additive inverse in the domain of complex numbers. So what we'll be doing today is we'll be continuing with the domain of complex numbers. So we are still concerned with complex numbers. But today we'll be talking about the operation of multiplication. So uh, if you have guessed it and uh, if I've mentioned it in the last video too, today we'll be talking about the existence of multiplicative identity and the existence of multiplicative inverse. So the concept of Mm, the existence of additive identity and the existence of additive inverse is pretty similar to the existence of multiplicative identity and the existence of multiplicative inverse in the sense that they use the same uh, the same concepts so the definition of identity in inverse remain the same the only difference is that here we will be talking about different operation so here we will be talking about multiplication of complex numbers so let me just write what we'll be doing today. So today we'll be talking about the existence of, um, let's say, the existence of multiplicative identity because we need to know the about the existence of multiplicative identity before we can talk about the existence of multiplicative inverse. So that's right, we'll be talking about the existence of multiplicative identity and the existence of multiplicative inverse. Now let's again uh, think about what we know about identity and then we'll be talking about what we know with respect to inverse. So if you want, you can always go back to the video that we talked about on the existence of multiplicative identity, uh, in existence of additive identity and existence of additive inverse. I will be linking the relevant videos in the description box down below and I also might be connecting them somewhere around here at the top uh, right section of the screen so you might be finding it there you know somewhere around here and you can always find them in the description box below I always try to make sure that relevant videos are linked in the description box below so let's talk about identity now let's say I have a complex number x plus iy right so I have this complex number x plus iy and I want to find out uh, the multiplicative identity now uh, thing is in case of multiplicative identity if you remember in case of additive identity we found out that this additive identity in case of addition operation was unique that similar property also holds here. So we have a similar property here. So this is essentially multiplicative identity. So if I talk about multiplicative identity, that is a unique number, right? So multiplicative identity is a unique number. So whether we choose this complex number x plus i y or whether we choose another complex number a plus i b, whichever complex number we choose, we the multiplicative identity that we'll be finding will be the same in case of x plus i y and in case of a plus i b so it's unique multiplicative identity is unique but that is not the case for the existence of or for the case of multiplicative inverse in general as we will be talking about so let's keep that in a different color you know i like things when they are color coded so let's think of what we know about identity so what is an identity an identity is essentially uh, a number or it's uh, essentially yeah, a complex number in our case which when operated with the original number will return me this same number so essentially so if you remember for the complex number if we had a complex number say x plus i y so if we had a complex number x plus i y and uh, let's if we had the operation of addition so if we were if we had been talking about additive identity then we would have added another complex number 
to this complex number and that should have given me the complex number x plus i y right that should have given me the complex number x plus i y so as you can see this complex number when added to another complex number should have given me back the original complex number this complex number then is called an additive identity right we have talked about this in the previous video now what is so different about multiplicative identity here the change comes here so if i want to change the color to make things obvious i want this to be multiplication operation or if you want you can put this symbol as well i want this to be a multiplicative operation so i want to multiply a complex number to this complex number x plus i y such that the product of these two complex numbers will also be x plus i y now let's move back and think what we have so under normal multiplication operation if i assume of complex numbers or a uh, real part and imaginary part if i assume of those parts i know that any number let's talk about an any other number so i know any number multiplied by 1 gives me that number itself right this is pretty basic mathematics so any number multiplied by 1 gives me back the number itself now if i have uh, been able to express myself i i think i have so what i want to say is 1 the number 1 that in itself is also a complex number why you might ask well 1 the number 1 can be written as 1 plus 0 into i right 0 into i is 0 0 into anything is 0 so 0 into i is also 0 so it's basically 1 right 1 plus 0 i basically boils down to 1 so if i'm multiplying p into 1 to get p technically speaking if i multiply 1 plus 0 i i'm actually multiplying 1 right if i'm multiplying 1 plus 0 i to a particular number i am actually multiplying 1 to that number so to make things prettier essentially what i'm doing is i'm multiplying 1 to this number x plus i y so the 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 equation holds right x plus i y into 1 plus 0 i which is actually x plus i y into 1 that is equal to x plus i y right so this number this number this number satisfies this expression it satisfies this equation so what do i call what do i say next what is the conclusion of this um analysis the conclusion is that this expression so 1 plus 0i 1 plus 0i this complex number this complex number so let me write the number 1 a little uh prettier so 1 plus 0i this number is the multiplicative identity Okay, so this number, if I want to be of the same color, so this number is the multiplicative identity. Identity, right? So this number is the multiplicative identity. So this number, one plus zero i, is the multiplicative identity. So does the is it unique? Now, is this number unique? Let's think of it this way. If I take any other number, any other number. So if I want two plus three i, if I want two plus three i, and I multiply this number with the complex number one plus zero i, which I, for the time being, think that is a unique multiplicative identity. This number is actually being multiplied with one, right? So two plus three i into one plus zero i is actually two plus three i into one. So it's actually two. Sorry, it's actually two plus three i into one. That's right. So it's two plus three i into one. Okay, which actually boils down to two plus three i. So it is two plus three i. So two plus three i into one plus zero i is actually two plus three i. doesn't this uh, satisfy the definition of multiplicative identity if i want 
uh, if I want to highlight my assumed multiplicative identity, doesn't this satisfy the definition of multiplicative identity? For any other number, let's try any other number. You can try it with your uh, favorite complex number. Let's take a different number. So let's try minus 2, minus 3i. Let's take minus 2, minus 3i. This is the negative of the above complex number. So again, if I multiply 1 plus 0i, if I multiply 1 plus 0i with this complex number, will I not get minus 2, minus 3i? Will I not get minus 2, minus 3i? Yes, we will. So this number is a number which when multiplied to any complex number will return me the same complex number. And this is the only complex number th that is capable of doing this. So there is no other complex number which will always give me the complex number back if I multiply it with any other complex number. So this is a unique multiplicative identity. So this is a unique multiplicative identity. So let me write that down. 1 plus 0i is a unique multiplicative identity, is the unique multiplicative identity.